Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Unify Access Door Guard. This was released about a month ago in Unify Access Application 1.4.5. We also have Time Based Purge for our access logs, and I'll show you how to do that. It's just one toggle switch. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You'd find me on Twitter at MacTelecomN. And if you'd like to support the channel, we do have affiliate links in the description below. First, before we get into configuring the door guard and looking at the time-based purge for the logs, this is only available for the UDM SE as the time of this video. We could see down below that the UDM Pro needs to be on version 1.12.24 or above, and we're currently at 1.12.22 for the UDM Pro. This should be coming soon. But for the UDM SE, it needs to be at least 2.5 Dot nine, which we're currently above at 2.5.11, as you can see here. Now, the Unify Access Door Guard allows us to have a bunch of different people be able to get notifications when somebody rings the doorbell on the Access Reader Pro. The door guards that we want to have assigned should have a single sign on so that they could unlock the doors remotely from their phones. Let's go take a look at how we add the door guards. If we go into our Unify Access Controller and then we click on our locations in the left hand pane, we could see that we have one door, door F6110. I just haven't renamed this door yet. And we could see on the right hand side, we have door guards, which there currently are none. One interesting thing in Unify Access now, we could see elevators, which is something that's coming soon. Now I've already added one user, Cody McCallum, but if we click on the doors and we go over to settings, we could go to add door guard. And here, this is another account that I have a single sign on YouTube test, and I'm going to add that to the door guard. Now we can see both of them are added to the door. So we could specify who we want to be a door guard on different doors. We can also see under the door guards, we now have two accounts under there. To add a new single sign on account to your Ubiquity, you need to go into your Unify OS and then click over on admins. From here, you're going to add a user and then you're going to select them as an administrator, use the Ubiquity account and then put in the email that they're using for that. Okay, now to show you that this works, I have my one single sign on connected to my phone and that's what you could see in the middle of the screen. And then I have my other single sign on and Unify Access brought up on the web page. We need to grab our Unify Access Reader and we need to swipe to call. Now we can see it's swiping to call and it's ringing on both the computer or on our phone and we could answer it from either location. Now that we've seen that it pops up on the phone and on the computer, let's answer it from the computer and then I'll disable the microphone on the Access Reader Pro so we don't get any feedback. But from here, we need to swipe to call again. And now we could see that it's calling from door F610. We're going to press talk. And I've now muted the microphone. You could see my face up here and we could unlock this door either if we're on site or if we're doing remotely. Once we click unlock, it will disengage the electric strike or the mag lock and let the person in. And that's a really cool feature. I'm glad they brought it to Unify Access. Now let's take a look at the other feature that just purges our logs, which is very straightforward. If we go to the left hand pane, we can see our settings wheel. And from here, we need to go to preferences. If we scroll down below, we can now see time based log deletion deletes access logs from your storage once you've reached a maximum time limit. The default is 180 days, but we could switch this to 30 days, 90 days, one year or two years, which is great and gives us flexibility. So that's it for this video on Unify Access. It was a pretty quick update. I really do like the direction that Unify Access is going and it really integrates well with UID. I do have a few videos on UID and I will put that down in the description below. If you have any questions about this video, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.